This is Keith Hermans with your Farmers Cooperative Market Update. Corn closed even this week at 319 and a quarter. Beans were down 12 at 838, and wheat was down 27 and three quarters at 453. Obviously, the big thing to talk about this week is how coronavirus is um, still affecting us. You're starting to see more of these local economies start to open back up. Even if it's in small quantities, it obviously still matters in the way it's going to stimulate your local economies here. Um, we're going to actually start seeing the effects of that here over the coming weeks. It's not going to happen on, a, on just an overnight process here. And that's one of the things that we've trying to, been trying to uh, push on some of the local producers here. It's going to take a little bit of time for us to kind of get going here. Uh, the good side of things, we look at our export numbers here. You look at corn, you look at beans. Um, obviously, you see some positive numbers here as to what we're able to move out of the country here. The fact that the, we're in the upper echelon of numbers there of estimates is obviously a, po a promising sign. You know, a few weeks ago, we were in the teens as far as exports here, and that's just not enough to uh, stimulate the economy the way that we need it to. So the fact that we're getting up there uh, is obviously a good sign. It means that we're starting to open up the economy here, and hopefully we can start to see some prices trend upwards here a little bit more. Uh, that being said, we talked about how the ethanol demand uh, just wasn't there. You're starting to see that creep back there a little bit. As people start to drive more, they're going to need more gas. Uh, it's kind of a trickle-down effect with that. Uh, here locally, a couple things just to touch on real quick. Obviously, with the temperatures heating up the way that they are, it's important to focus on what the grain quality is in your bins right now, if you have any. Um, we don't want to have any spoilage of grain, grain in your bins here, so make sure that you're taking advantage of free DP while we still offer it. Um, if you have any questions as to what locations offer it, you can call us here in the Dorchester office or at your uh, location there, and they'd be more than happy to answer any questions for you. And then the final thing I just wanted to touch on, um, we are offer, offering something uh, called a basis averaging contract for new crop corn this year. Um, what we'll do is we, uh, we can lock in your basis there uh, before June 1st, and we'll actually average your bushels here, uh, the price of it out uh, two times a week over 16 weeks. So that's something you kind of look at if you're um, looking to do a little bit of new crop marketing this year. Um, call your local Farmers Cooperative location. They can give you any details on that. Again, this is Keith Hermans with the Farmers Cooperative Market Update.